Prong shaft deflections are measured to detect the misalignment of main bearings. The misalignment occurs to bearing wear or deflection of the crankshaft. This is to check the horizontal and vertical misalignment. To begin with, these are the following positions of crank pin when taking crankshaft deflection. Bottom port, port, top, starboard, bottom starboard. Conditions that crankshaft deflection to be taken. Ship should be afloat, anchorage or port. If in port, no cargo operation, calm weather, should be in a loaded condition and comparisons should be made under some temperature. As the alignment is influenced by the engine temperature as well as the loading conditions, the deflection measurements should be for comparison. It should always be made under nearly the same temperature and load condition. Safety precautions. Stop the engine and allow to cool down. Open indicator valve. Close air starting valve supply. Block the main starting valve. Engage turning gear. Stop main lube oil pump. Open crankcase cover and ventilate. These are what we need. Deflection gauge, thermometer, lightings, and data sheet. Looking from the stern side, turn the flywheel to position the crank pin to bottom port. Place the dial gauge actually in the crank web opposite of the crank pin. The correct mounting position is marked with punch marks in the crank web. Adjust the dial gauge and make sure the stylus or movable end point is touching the adjacent web. Set the dial gauge to zero at the bottom port position. And now, our dial gauge is properly set to zero. Turn the flywheel counterclockwise to port position. Take note. Opening of the crank web or dial gauge turned to counterclockwise, the reading is positive, and closing of crank web or dial gauge turned to clockwise, the reading is negative. Before taking deflection readings in the dial gauge, the turning gear should be stopped and be turned a little backward to free the tangential pressure in the turning gear wheel teeth. And now our crank pin is in port position, and the reading is negative 0.03. After taking the deflection reading in the dial gauge, continue turning the flywheel counterclockwise to position the crank pin to the top. Continue turning until crank pin reaches the top position. And now the crank pin is in top position. Take the deflection reading and it's positive 0 0.006. Let's continue turning the flywheel until the crank pin to starboard position. Now the crank pin is in starboard position. Stop turning the flywheel and take the deflection measurement and it's negative 0.06. Lastly, turn the flywheel to position the crank pin to the bottom starboard. The crank pin is in bottom starboard position and take the deflection reading. It is negative 0.03. For the remaining cylinders, repeat the same procedures performed in cylinder number 1 in taking crankshaft deflection measurement. And that's all for our main engine crankshaft deflection measurement. I hope this video helps you in performing your crankshaft deflection in the near future. If you like this video, don't forget to share. God bless and keep safe always.